Nigeria has again failed to meet the commitment it made alongside other African countries 19 years ago on health funding. With the budget proposed by President Mohamed Buhari last week allotting less than 10% to the sector. The budget for the 2021 proposes 547 billion naira for healthcare, about 7% of the budget's total of 13.08 trillion naira. The amount comprises 380.21 billion naira for recurrent expenditure and 132 billion naira for capital projects. There is also 35.03 billion naira for basic health provision fund, which includes funds for managing emergencies and infectious diseases such as COVID-19. On the average, the amount translates to about 2,735 naira per Nigerian, given the country's population of about 200 million people. The 7% allocation to healthcare, however, falls below the 15% agreed by African countries in 2001. And to take a look at this, we have joining us on the, the news, Dr. Bernard Fatoye. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Fatoye. Thank you for having me. And let's, let's talk a little bit about, about this. Less than 10% of the 2021 budget for health how, of course, it's obviously far below the 15% recommendation. Shouldn't this have changed um, in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, uh, I agree with you, considering the fact that uh, all over the world we've learned that um, health is not something to joke with. So we would have expected by that by this year, looking at the next year's budget, we should at least have moved to what we agreed on 19 years ago. Uh, let me say this also, the 15% agreed 19 years ago by AU member country was not, uh, the fifth there wasn't that, oh, 15%, if budget 15% is going to be adequate. There was still, there was the expectation that um, uh, developed nations were still going to contribute a quota as um, uh, assistance to the developing country. But a situation where we've not even be able to contribute, so to say, our own counterpart funding, what we agreed on that 15 percent, we don't, we can't even expect others to now to do what is expected for them, which is about 0.7 percent. That was what is what they expected of developed nations to donate to African countries. So far, uh, I think if I'm right, just about two African countries are able to meet up to 15 percent, and uh, if you look at their health indices, you see that there is also growth. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, they are better for it, so to say. We can't be, we can't continue this business as usual routine. If you look at the budget that was proposed, of course you've analyzed it. A great, a great, a great percentage of it, about forty something percent, is uh, going to uh, recurrent expenditure. That's three hundred eighty-one million going to recurrent expenditure out of the health budget. That's the service salaries and all that and all that. Then we have about one hundred eighty-one. Thousand there for capital projects. Capital projects before 36 state and FCT, of course, primary health care. We all know the state of our primary health care system. So I really don't know um, what the federal government has in mind, whether we're thinking, it, whether maybe they're thinking in mind that, oh, it's a concurrent, uh, it's a concurrent legislative, legislative this, right. so states should be able to match up the expenses. Cost. If we continue this five percent today, six percent today, something we will not. It's 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 just is a, the, the analogy I like to use is a situation whereby you have you have a knocked engine and you keep putting in um, managing it. You just be using NGO over right. and over and over. Doctor Fato, I, I, I want you to you change the engine. Yeah, I, I want you to also then help you know um, everyone to understand um, how maybe inadequate or adequate. Um, 2,735 naira per Nigerian. How does that work? So I, I want to, as much as possible, stray away from mentioning figures. That's just the truth. But I mean, it's obvious to everybody. We don't need an health economist to come and tell us that at this point in time, that amount cannot do anything. Remember that that amount was based on the fact that you've... Uh, you, you it's still out of that you're going to bring out um, recurrent expenditure that's salaries it's still out of that you're going to bring in money for vaccination it's still out of that you're going to grow at the end of the day probably what is left for any person should even be, have access to that for is maybe uh we have uh, 100 to treat malaria 
if you get to have malaria, which at some point every Nigerian is going to have at least once in a year. So we are not yet serious. That's just the truth about it. We cannot continue business as usual. All right. Uh, on the flip side, some people would say uh, the budget covers the major areas, salaries, logistics, uh, purchase of PPE, um, of course, also managing yeah. malaria, yes, HIV it, AIDS. Yes. Um, I, I feel like the only, the, of course, the, this is still status quo. There's nothing really different from last year. Yeah, it's still the same thing. We're supporting Gavi immunization funds. But they said we're paying one uh, percent of the CRF to basic health, um, basic health uh, care provision fund, which we haven't even seen in action. Which is a part of the National Health Act. Uh, so it's still business as usual. There's really no difference. The only difference is that okay, maybe there was a bit of money that was added so that we can get PPEs for COVID and all that. But we all know the state of our healthcare system. We can't continue with business as usual if we want to get to the level at which we should be. So, so, so this is where I was going with that. Um, do, do we bother about the percentage that was agreed upon um, if we can at least afford to cover some of these, you know, um, aspects of our health care? Should we be focused okay. on the percentage yes. or focused um, on being able to achieve okay. something with the money and the funds that are available? Yes, we can achieve something. But what we're able to achieve is the status quo. We all know the status quo. The same way our health system is still going to remain the same. If this is what we're committing to. Before we can get something different, we need to commit more. We can't continue this way. We will just be, what we just, I've analyzed the budget to you. Basically, more than half of it is going to paying of salaries. So that means it's not as if we're seeing any new hospitals coming up. It's not as if we're going to see new facilities. It's not as if we're going to see rebranding of um, primary care okay facilities. It's not as if you're going to see more money put into any child. It's not as if you're going to see more coverage. Which what we want at the end of the day is this, is a universal health coverage, where a system where people don't have to pay out of pocket to um, to get basic health care services. No, that, that's if we can afford well, that. If I, may, if I may add, also I feel, of course, we cannot run away from the fact that um, even what we have at the moment, have we properly utilized it? The answer is the answer is no, definitely. Quickly, uh, quickly, Doctor Doctor Fato, we, we in the interest of time because we need to um, run off in a bit. But I want you to quickly okay. in twenty seconds um, um, answer this: Can we really afford to do better? Do you blame the government for not being able to improve on the percentage? If you know, looking at our economy and our revenue. Yeah, so so I agree with that. And if you look at the budget, also health happens to be like number one, number f the first four that happens to get most of the this uh, money. I mean, because the concentration is on security and human capital development. That's we're focusing on security. That's defense gets a lot of money. Uh, we're focusing on education. We're focusing on health. Yes. But then we probably need to think out of the box. We need to look for this money. And uh, one of the ways we need to, one of the areas we need to start thinking about is private sector. We need to look at public private partnership. But the thing about it is that, like I said, you need to show, show that, okay, what you have, you've been able to use it to do something really, really tangible right. before people can begin to say, okay, we trust you. Let's, let's donate money to this trust fund. Let's donate money to any child so that we can have universal okay. recovery. But Dr. the government Fatoui. has not been able to do that. That's just the truth about it. Thank you so much for sharing your views with us and looking forward to speaking with you again. All right, thank you. Thanks for having me. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.